Hi, my name's Tom. Uh, this is Nicola, and this is Emma, and we're from Caravan Guard Insurance. Uh, we're here today at Richard Baldwin Motorhomes. Uh, we're here to clean this very filthy motorhome, so come and join us, we'll give you some tips. This is the motorhome that we are cleaning today, and on the face of it, it looks quite clean. There are, however, black streaks, dust, and debris all across this motorhome, so we're gonna share with you some steps on how to clean any motorhome back to its former glory. Let's go through some of the equipment that we're going to use today. We are using a selection of products from a variety of manufacturers, but our actual cleaning kit consists of a bubble mitt, some microfiber cloths, a couple of buckets, a long reach brush, and a set of steps. So our first task is to clean the roof. When working at any height, it's a great idea to have somebody with you to give you assistance, not for just getting up and down the step ladder, but also for handing you equipment as well. We're quite lucky that we have an on-site water supply, but if you don't, don't panic, I'll come back to that in a moment. Using the long reach brush, we can attach this one to a hose pipe, and this gives us a constant feed of water, which aids with the cleaning of the roof. Make sure you clean all the skylights, all the fixings and fixtures on the roof, such as air vents, and make sure you clean the bodywork as well. Once the roof is clean, it's important to wash down the sides of the motorhome. This removes any grit or debris from the sides that you would have previously loosened off from the roof. You'll notice that we're using a hose pipe and we've got it set to a fairly soft spray. Don't be tempted to use a pressure washer. Pressure washers are incredibly fierce and they can damage the sides and the seals of your motorhome. You'll also notice that we're not spraying directly into the fridge vents. We'll clean these separately in a short while. If you don't have access to running water or a hose pipe, you can use a garden pump sprayer such as this one. Simply add water, pressurize, and as you can see, it's giving a good coverage to the windscreen of the motorhome at a fairly reasonable pressure. These are excellent for use in storage yards or areas where there is no running water. Whilst the motorhome is still wet, it's time to focus on the black streaks. And for this, we're using the Melarude Black Streak Remover. The instructions are pretty clear. Add the product to a microfiber cloth, dab onto the black streaks, leave to set for a few moments, and then rinse off. Pay particular attention to areas that are up high that suffer from runoff from the roof. Also pay attention to window frames and any overhangs you may have over the cab. If your motorhome is suffering from large deposits and green algae buildup, why not use something like Silky? Why not watch our caravan cleaning video and have a look to see how the Silky fares up at cleaning a very mucky caravan. Once the product has had time to work, it's time to rinse off once again. Again, we're using a hose pipe, but a garden sprayer would be absolutely fine. Make sure you rinse off all the product from the side of the motorhome, and then it's time to nip on to the next step, which is washing the motorhome sides. Now the product we're using to clean the motorhome is the Fenwick's Motorhome Cleaner. We're diluting this into a bucket of warm water, and the system we're going to use for cleaning the motorhome down is the two bucket method. In one bucket, we have our cleaning product with warm water, and in the second bucket, we just have plain cold water. The two bucket method works like this. Dab your cleaning mitt into the cleaning product and clean the side of the motorhome. When it's time to rinse the mitt, don't put it back into the product, instead put it straight into the clean cold water. This removes any grit or any dirt off of the mitt. Then dab into the cleaning product and then onto the side of the motorhome and continue in this method. When cleaning the fridge grills, it's better to do this in isolation and away from the motorhome. So simply unclip them from the side of the motorhome. Give the surround a good wipe down and clean the grills using a microfiber cloth. Once cleaned, dry down and refit. For cleaning the side windows, it's best to do this with your bare hand. Dip your hand into the cleaning product and apply straight onto the windows. This method is preferred because acrylic windows scratch incredibly easy, and if you feel any grit under your fingertips, then you can stop straight away. With the sides all washed down, it's time to look at some of the grubbier parts of the motorhome. This includes the tires and the wheels. 
If you have alloy wheels, use an alloy brush, but if you have hubcaps, use a softer brush to ensure you don't scratch the surface. Once the hubcaps are clean, give the tyres a quick wipe over, and that's the end of the washdown. It's now time to rinse down once again, so we're going to remove the soap and any loosened debris that is on the sides of the motorhome. With the motorhome now washed down, it's time to wipe down and remove any excess water away from the surface. Remember to open any doors or openings, wipe around any surrounds, and remove as much water as you possibly can. Using Autoglim's Fast Glass, we spray straight onto the windows, wipe, and then buff off to a shine. This will remove any water spots left on the glass and leave the windows streak free and clear of any smears. Autoglim's Fast Glass is also great to use on the acrylic side windows on the motorhome. Our final step is to give the motorhome some protection and a deep shine. And for this we're using the Meguiar's Quick Wax. Simply spray on, wipe onto the bodywork, allow it to cloud over for a few minutes and then buff off until the bodywork sparkles. I think you'll agree that the motorhome looks really good and it's now ready for the open road. There is one more product that's worth reviewing today and that's the Triple Wax Waterless Wash and Shine. The Triple Wax Waterless Wash and Shine is a fantastic product to keep in the motorhome at all times. If you're on the road and you notice that there is some muck appearing on the front of the motorhome, you can use this product to wipe off any deposits. To use it, simply spray onto the motorhome, use a clean microfiber cloth and wipe off until it clouds over. Then simply buff off until the bodywork shines. That's it from us. If you've enjoyed this video, head over to caravanguard.co.uk for more hints and tips. Thanks for watching and we're off for a boot to warm up. Bye!